So welcome back again, another Delivered Reviewed, and this week the delivery to be reviewed is Five Guys. Five Guys started in America, Arlington, Virginia, 1986. Uh, Jerry and Janie Morrell uh, gave their sons a choice, start a business or go to college. And obviously the business route won. They opened the store, as you can see their little timeline, up to 2003 from the expansion from the US. Um, they started a business, Five Guys, Five Brothers, hence the name. And since that point, obviously it's been going pretty strong. And now obviously in the UK and other parts of the world. And I think to be fair, you could actually say these are 10 out of 10 in terms of the principle of what they serve, ingredients, and the generosity of, of the amount of chips and toppings. But, which you'll see in a second, they're still wrapping everything, obviously, in foil, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but it still adds that bit of heat and then moisture and the bun goes a bit soft. And as you can see there, the original, you know, picture-perfect bun as it is, uh, would be really nice, obviously, if you got it, you know, served straight away as per in a restaurant. However, the fries, albeit it was a little bit of a distance again to get to the house, but the fries were outstanding. Um, the variation to the sizes is a bit strange. Some some kind of, you know, really long fries and some little short fries compared to like a standard McDonald's, but they're about as close to a million cart as you can get. The skin on fry, I think, is it's got to be one of the best fries um, for kind of the variation texture, etc. Et um, and I had the little Cajun fries. I didn't want to go for regular because that's little, so regular would be probably half the plate. And they were they were good fries, though. I'd, I'd definitely rate the fries easily 8 or 9 out of 10. Um, as for what I had on the burger, it was a bacon cheeseburger, and you can have the original hamburger, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. Um, I had as a toppings mayo, ketchup, hot sauce, lettuce, tomato, grilled mushrooms, and obviously got the bacon. Now, they've built their burger a slightly different way around. Obviously, the lettuce and tomato on the top, which I think a lot of people have done, a lot of places do do. Um, but the bacon and the mushrooms are on the bottom, which kind of, although the mushrooms obviously with moisture, but the uh, barrier to stop the bun getting really, really soft. Uh, the, only, the only thing, like I say, is wrapping it in foil, it was still a little bit soft, but it was better than any other burger I've had from any other place that does wrap it. Um, in terms of the flavours, it was it was nice. Like it was really nice, especially with the hot sauce um, added to it. But just a little bit, maybe not enough seasoning on the burgers or the patties, rather. And um, obviously, those two patties as standard. Um, that's the only thing I can say that, that was kind of as a negative. It, it just it's got a lot of flavour, but the seasoning, I think, maybe just add a little bit more seasoning to the patties or, or something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but it might even be the bun being a standard sesame seed bun compared to a pretzel bun or, or uh, a brioche bun. So that could have sort of taken a little bit of the flavour away compared to other places. But overall, um, really good place. I can't really argue for the generosity, obviously, as, as they pride themselves on. Um, overall, as, as a outlet that's been around for years i would say you know you're probably not close off miller and carter 10 out of 10. however just for the fact of being wrapped um in foil and the moisture that's that's about the only thing and like i say a little bit kind of a little slightly bland with the with the burgers or seasoning so eight and a half out of ten i don't think is a bad score which you'll see in a second uh, but if you've not tried it you've not been there and obviously you've not had the uh, toppings like i hadn't then definitely try them. They've, they've got to be one of the best, like, genuine burger places. Um, so, you know, comparable to something like a Burger King or a Milan Carter or similar. Um, but either way, good place. So eight and a half out of ten, as I say. And appreciate the views, the recent subscriptions. And obviously, if anybody's got any comments, please feel free to leave them. Hopefully catch you on the next one.